I'm Howard Hale with the Horseman's Corner, bringing you useful information from people involved with the world of horses. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. With the problems we've had with the COVID virus, it just emphasizes how much we need the Internet to do business. And more and more business is being done in both the horse and the cattle industry and related industries over the Internet. So if you don't have a really good Internet presence and a good place to house your website or to advertise your website, go to agsearch.us. You can get it on there. be a great place for you, agsearch.us. That's eggsearch.us. Al Torres, California horseman Brian Newbert used to do a lot of work with the BLM and the Mustangs. Not doing that much anymore, but Brian, what did you learn from working with those Mustangs? Thinking about becoming more efficient all the time so I can get more done with less effort. And, um, oh, they, they just, I, they sent me all over the country and quite a bit to Texas. And you went to Florida and all over the western states and, Nebraska quite a few times, but they, um, you know, it was kind of fun to get paid to educate yourself and, and trying to think constantly how I can get more accomplished with less effort. And anyway, I had a fun, a lot of fun with that and really kind of learned with what I learned with those wild horses, the, the um, apply to just anything you're doing, loading one in the trailer or handling their feet or getting them to change leads or anything at this I had a lot of fun with that, actually. Is it more of a challenge to uh, try to teach people or or to teach those wild horses? <laughs> it's always way tougher to teach people. Alturas, California horseman Brian Newbert, thanks for joining me for the Horseman's Corner. Always great to have you along. May God bless, and you come back and join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hayes.